Hey yogis, and thank you for tuning in. Welcome to Yoga For You. My name is Ruiz, and today I am going to be sharing a 15 to 20 minute Vinyasa Yoga Flow for beginners to intermediates. So it's a quite basic flow, very easy to follow, but it's also dynamic. We're going to be moving through the different postures following our breath. So just meet yourself where you're at today. No judgment, no pressure. There's no such thing as being good or bad at yoga. It's, it's a journey and we're all on it together. So having said that, let's just start moving. So let's come to the top of our mat. We're gonna begin in mountain pose, Tadasana. So begin by really rooting down through the feet. Balls of the feet really shooting down into the mat. We're moving up to the hip, hip area here and we're going to be tugging the tailbone down and under. So if we're standing here, we're kind of elongating the tailbone. This is going to activate our core. Our shoulders rolled back and down. And from here, we're going to take a deep inhale through the nose and extend the arms all the way up over the head. So we're reaching up and at the same time, we're rooting down, tugging the tailbone under. Good. On the exhale, we're going to fold forward. Keep the knees bent here. Let the torso come down onto the thighs. Good, and then just hang heavy. You can wrap your hands around either side of the elbow and just let gravity elongate the spine. Shoulders are relaxed, the neck is relaxed. We're just releasing a bit of tension. Good. Inhaling, coming all the way up to standing again. So we are rooting down through the feet and reaching up through the hands all the way up. Good. Exhale, we're forward folding again. Keep the knees bent, torso over the thighs and hang heavy. Focus here on taking deep breaths into the belly. In and out through the nose. Good. Now on the next inhale, just look up and place the fingertips on the mat under the shoulders. And we're taking a step back with the right foot first. So right back steps all the way to the back of the mat. Good. Exhale, we're planting the palms into the mat, under the shoulders. And on the exhale, we're getting that left foot back next to the right one. And we're actually now in downward facing dog. So push back through the hands, through the fingers, pushing all the way up through the arms, reaching the shoulders, kind of making space, the shoulder blades kind of pushing apart a little bit. Sit bones, reaching up into the sky. Your heels might be on the mat or off the mat. That is absolutely fine. You might also want to bend the knees here. It's a very good modification for downward facing dog. You find your way. This is your practice. Inhale, we're coming forward into a high plank. So we're tugging the tailbone under, shoulders over the wrists. On the exhale, we're taking the knees onto the mat and the chest onto the mat, pushing away the legs. Good. Tucks of the feet pushing down into the mat. Try to make sure that we're not have the feet rolled up, but that they're kind of pointing straight. Inhale, we're coming up into a little cobra. Fingertips really active into the mat, elbows tucked in and shoulders rolled back and down. Good, exhale, feet tuck under, butt comes back towards the heels and we're pushing up into our downward facing dog. Very good, just step it out a little bit here, just loosen up the hamstrings. You can just make a little bit more space in your body. Good, come to a steady downward facing dog and on the inhale, we're taking the left leg and stepping it up to the top of the mat. Good, and on the exhale, the right foot follows all the way up next to the left one and we're back in our forward fold. Great, inhale, come all the way up to standing, rooting down, reaching up, tugging the tailbone under and on the exhale, hands come together in front of the heart space. 
Great, let's do the other side. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, folding forward. Keep the knees bent, hanging heavy. Good. Inhale, look up. Plant the fingertips on the mat, under the shoulders, and we're stepping it back with the left foot. Left foot all the way back. Exhale, plant the whole palm onto the mat, under the shoulders, and we're stepping it back with the right foot, downward facing dog. Good. Push back through those hands and arms. Sit bones reaching up into the sky. Find your variation today. Good. And inhale, we're coming forward into high plank. Tailbone tucked under, core is active. Shoulders are over the wrists and exhaling. Knees come to the floor, chest comes to the floor and we're pushing away the legs. Good. Tops of the feet, pushing down into the mat, inhale. Little cobra here. Fingertips active, elbows in, shoulders down. Look up. Good. Look straight. Exhale, toes tuck under, but pushes up, and we're back in our downward facing dog. Good, and inhale, we're taking the right leg up to the top of the mat, and exhale, left leg pulls in and lands next to the right one, forward fold. Inhale, we're coming all the way up to standing, rooting down and reaching up. Good, and exhale, palms come together, in front of the heart space. Great, let's continue. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, we're folding forward. Keep the knees bent. Inhale, look up. We're coming halfway up. It's like a half forward fold, let's say. And you might be able to touch the mat here. If not, keep the knees bent and just hold onto your shins. What matters here is that your spine is straight, it's long, we have a long spine and the chest is kind of pushing forward a little bit. So halfway up on the inhale, now on the exhale, we're stepping it to the back of the mat with the left foot. So exhale, left foot goes back. Good. So we're kind of in a launch position here. Now we're going to come up to standing. We're shooting back through this left heel, really active through that back leg. We're rooting down through the right foot and we're getting ready to lift the arms all the way up over the head from the core. So by tugging the tailbone down, we're going to activate that core. So let's take an inhale and really pull up, pushing down, pulling up, pulling up. Oh, so good. And you might be like, this is not working for me. Come out a little bit. Make it softer. Make it work for you today. It doesn't have to look a certain way. Good, inhale, we're reaching up. And exhale, we're getting that left knee onto the mat. Toes point away, inhale, reaching up, tucking the tailbone under. And exhale, both hands come on either side of the right foot. Good, inhale, elongate the spine. We're pushing the chest forward here. Exhale, we're rocking back. Inhale, we're coming forward. Really feeling it in the left quad here when we're coming forward and in the right hamstring when we're coming back. It doesn't have to be so deep. You can use a pair of blocks or books or a pillow to come up a little bit higher. It doesn't have to be so intense. On the inhale, we're forward. Exhale back. Just make sure that we're not twisting the pelvic floor. We're keeping it level here. Inhale forward, exhale back, good, inhale forward, tuck the back toe under and on the exhale we just give kind of a little push and we're landing back up in our forward fold, good, inhale come all the way up to standing, rooting down and reaching up, exhale hands come together in front of the heart space, great. Other side, inhale all the way up, exhale, folding forward, keep the knees bent. Inhale, we're coming halfway up, keeping the spine elongated here. Knees can be bent, no problem, come up a bit higher if you need to. Exhale, we're stepping it back with the right leg. Exhale, right leg comes back, 
Good, so we're getting ready for lift up here. Shooting back through the right heel, rooting down through the left foot. Core is active. We're gonna tuck that tailbone down under, helping to pull us up. Inhale, let's go. Inhale, come on up. Pull, 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 pull. Balance, balance. You can have the eyes, the arms out a bit wider, and you can just modify, make it a little bit softer here. Good, exhale. Get the right knee onto the mat, toes pointing away, inhaling, reaching up, really reach up and tuck down through the tailbone. And exhale, hands come down on either side of the left foot. Inhale, elongate the spine, really push that chest through the arms, at least like make the attempt to do that. On the exhale, we're just gently rocking back. Remember to use your blocks. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Just very subtle movements here. There's nothing else happening than going backwards and forward. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Tuck the back toes under. And on the exhale, we're doing a little gentle push. Taking that right foot up next to the left one and we're back in our forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. So we're rooting down and reaching up. Good. Exhale, hands come together in front of the heart space. Great. A little bit more. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, folding forward. Just take a second here to notice you might feel that you have a bit more space in your hamstrings by now. You might actually have created more space in your body. That's pretty cool. On the exhale, we're planting the palms into the mat or the fingertips. And we're going to take a big step back, one foot at a time, and we're coming in to our downward facing dog. Great. We're coming into a side plank. Inhale, coming forward forward into a high plank, tailbone tucked under, shoulders over the wrists, good. Exhale, take the right hand to the middle of the mat, approximately under the shoulder, and we're going to pivot around here, pivot around on the feet, so they're shooting out to the left. Now you may want to take the right leg underneath and rest on the knee here, and extend the left hand up from here. Side plank variation. If you're feeling a bit stronger today, just do both feet. Kind of stack them on top of each other or side by side and extend here. Good. Take a couple of breaths here. Engaging the whole body. Wonderful. Exhaling. Coming back into our high plank. Good. Hold it. Inhale. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Very good. Just take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Good. Coming forward into high plank again. Inhale. Tailbone is tucked under. Shoulder is over the wrist. We're doing it on the other side. Exhale. Left hand comes to the middle. Shoulder over wrist. And we're going to pivot around. Take that knee down. If you feel like it's a bit too intense, the left knee is on the ground. And we extend from here. If you're feeling, no, I am quite strong today, take the feet, stack them on top of each other, or leave them side by side, and extend from here. Good, you can look up, or you can look down, however you feel. Good, exhale, we're coming back into high plank, shoulders over the wrist, tailbone is tucked under, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, really good. Take a deep inhale, and on the exhale, let's just take a little walk up to, to our hands. Good. Inhale, we're doing it halfway up, and exhale, folding forward. Inhale, all the way up, rooting down, reaching up. Good. Exhale, hands come together in front of the heart space. Really good. Now we're going to lift the right leg up. Lift it up, ankle aligned with the knee, knee aligned with the foot. We're going to interlock the hands like this and just take them around the knee. 
struggling to balance here, but that's absolutely fine. Inhale, we're standing up tall, and on the exhale, pull in on that right knee towards the chest. Foot is flexed. And just stand here for a few breaths, breathing all the way into your belly, expanding. Shoulders are down, looking at something steady can help you balance. Mm, very good. Now exhale, release the pose. Inhale, stand up tall and on the exhale, just try to make an attempt to extend and leave it down. Good. Taking the left leg up, left leg up, hip, knee, knee, foot aligned. Good. 90 degree angle here. Interlocking the fingers, wrapping them around the left knee. Inhale, we're standing tall. Exhale, pulling in. The foot is flexed. Good. Taking a few breaths here. Focusing on taking deep breaths into the belly. Good. The right foot is super active, rooting into the mat. Exhale, release the pose, keeping the 90 degree angle. Hands come in front of the heart space. Inhale, stand tall and exhale. Extend the foot out and let it come down, all the way down. Take the feet a little bit further apart here, about hip width apart. We're going to inhale the hands all the way up over the head. Inhale, reaching up and exhale, hands come together and we're going to sit down into a yogi squat. Good. Now if you're here, that's great. Maybe your heels are not really wanting to get on the mat. So just get up, use your blocks and support yourself like this and just kind of Rock a little bit from side to side, loosening up, loosening up the hips a little bit. You might not need the mat, you can just have your hands on the floor. Now, if, you're, if you have your heels on the mat and you're actually in Malasana, yogi squat, you're going to be pushing back with the upper arms and the knees, the thighs, the shins are pushing forward. So you're kind of locked in position here. Hands come together in front of the heart space and we're pushing the chest forward looking up and just trying to take really deep breaths into the belly expanding and contracting with each breath breath in and out good on the next exhale we're just going to sit back onto our butts onto the mat. We're going to come into boat pose, Navasana. So just take away the meat from the sit bones here, grab a hold under the, under the knees, shoulders roll back and down. We're sitting up super straight. On the inhale, we're lifting up the right leg halfway. Exhale, down. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, down. Inhale, right. Exhale down, inhale left, exhale down. We're going to do both now, so inhale up. You can have your feet flexed or pointed, however you wish. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Let's try without hands. Inhale up, exhale down. And one last time, we'll hold it for three breaths. Inhale up. Breathe in to the belly, two, and three, exhale, release the pose and just give yourself a nice big hug. Good, just let yourself roll back onto the mat. Good, knees stay bent here, feet are on the mat. We're taking the right leg and crossing it on top of the left one. Lift the hips up and kind of move them a little bit to the right. And then let the knee, the legs, the hips kind of turn over to the left. Hands come out on either side, just very relaxed. And you can look to the right or look straight. 
however you feel comfortable. And just focus on really breathing in to the belly. These twists are so beneficial for us. Really helping with eliminating toxins from the body. Helping our digestive system and just calming. Deep breaths. And with every breath you can almost feel that your body is melting in deeper and deeper into the twist. Good. Inhale. Lift the legs back up. Readjust the hip back to neutral. Put both feet back on the mat. We'll do the other side. Left leg crosses over the right. Hips come up. Move a little bit to the left and we're letting the legs fall down. Hands come out to either side and you look to the left or straight. Deep breaths. So yummy. Releasing. Letting go. Good. On the next in-breath, take the feet back up, the legs back up, readjust the hips and plant both feet onto the mat. Now pull the knees in towards the chest and just give yourself a big hug and just roll a little bit from side to side. You've done really, really well. You're taking this time for yourself. Just give yourself credit for that. Good. Just come to a quiet place now and release the feet, the legs one at a time. Getting ready for our final pose, Shavasana. So the feet are loose, 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 loose. Tailbone kind of tugging it under, maybe tightening the buttocks and just pressing it under a little bit. Shoulder blades kind of coming back and under you. And just extend the arms from here and relax. You can take the heart, the head. See, I'm very relaxed already. Head to just either side, just relax the neck. And just lie here for a few minutes and just focus on your breath. Thank you so much for practicing with me today, for doing yoga for you. I hope to see you soon again. From my heart to yours, thank you.